Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about HBAR. So HBAR has been doing quite well recently. We can see that after this initial pump, we have now rallied about 40% in addition to the upside. HBAR really starting to catch up and actually starting to close in on its prior year-to-date highs all the way back in February. So what I wanna talk about in this video is what are our models seeing with this price action? Do they think that this rally could continue? What are the longer term outlooks for HBAR and some other considerations around that? So let's go ahead and jump in. So I wanna start with the shorter term prospects and to do that, I wanna look at our trend confidence indicator or TCI. So that's what I'm showing you here. So this is the HBAR price and this is the TCI overlaid on top of it. So as the name suggests, the TCI cares about trend and whether or not a given trend is looking healthy. And so generally speaking, you want to see with the TCI in a given move is that if price is moving up, you want to see the TCI trend along with it. But if the TCI is trending down, that is a concerning sign. So for example, here in this move in the beginning of the year, the TCI was trending up along with price for this first move, but then it actually started to trend down with this higher move, which is a warning sign suggesting that the weakness might be showing up in the trend and it might reverse, and that's indeed what we saw. But then the TCI started moving back up and then price followed with it over here, up to the upside, reverse to the downside, price came down with it, but then it started to trend back up through here and that led us into this rally. So what I'd really like to see with this rally here is for the TCI to continue to move up with price. I'd really like to see the TCI take out this local high, move up further, and that would be a suggestion that the continuation of this uptrend is intact, and that might suggest that price has further to move. But if we see the TCI really turn over here and start to move to the downside, that would be a concerning sign, might suggest that a reversal is in store in the near term. But in some ways, these are short-term considerations. Whether or not this particular rally can continue to the upside is not really the most important thing to think about if we're taking a longer-term perspective on HBAR. If we are entering into a new bull market for crypto, what we really care about is what is that longer-term prospect for HBAR, not so much this particular rally. So let's talk about some longer-term models to get at those questions. So the model I'm showing you here is the long-term upside downside potential indicator we have for HBAR. So this is a risk model. So it assesses how risky HBAR is and it's reactive to moves that play out over months. And so what we can see with the UDPI here is that in bull markets, when you get up to the tops, it gets to these really elevated levels. Then down in the bear market, it's down in these really low risk levels. And what we've seen with this rally so far is we've moved up and we've gotten right around to this about break even point. So what this suggests is that from the model's perspective, there's about an equal amount of upside potential versus long side potential that is realistic. So from that longer term perspective, the moves that play out over months, it sees about a realistic equal amount of upside versus downside potential right now. And notably, it's at a similar level to where we peaked out back here in February of this year. And so what I think this means is that the market could go either direction, that if we're the market is ready to be more bullish and continue to the upside, the broader market, then we could see something like this, where we break up above that level, not necessarily saying we're going all the way to the top to a big cycle high like this, but just that we could continue to move up and chew up more of that realistic upside potential that is there. But if the broader market is ready to take a break, if Bitcoin crashes, Ethereum crashes or something like that, then it would not surprise me at all if this similar level that we peaked out back here would act as resistance again. And what that might suggest that that happens is we might continue to stay in this accumulation range. That is probably unlikely that the lows would be taken out here, but maybe we dip back down into these lower levels, more accumulation happens before the next rally happens, which might be the place where HBAR really breaks out to notable new highs. So I'll have to keep an eye on it. As I said, I think we're kind of at that intermediate zone. Really, either side is possible here. We're going to have to watch how the broader markets act to see if HBAR is ready to take that next step. Basically, that step is there if it wants it. It's just whether or not there's enough fuel left on the fire for it to push further up. So we're going to have to see how that plays out. But broader than that, just kind of looking at overall direction of the market, our forecast model is painting an overall pretty clear picture right now. So our forecast model gets at the probability of upside six months in the future. So how likely is it that HBAR's price will be higher than it is right now six months in the future? So that's the time frame that it's looking at medium to long term. And what you can see is that in bull markets, 
the forecast model tends to get quite bullish and stay there for an extended period of time. But then, so for example, here we saw that as we went into the all-time high, the forecast model is actually getting bearish, suggesting that this was not likely to sustain and that we're actually likely to see lower prices in that time period. And exactly that is what we saw. But then going into here and especially up, starting really back here in June of this year, it started getting very bullish. And indeed then that manifested, we ended up seeing higher prices relative to those points. And this is clearly bull market footing that we're seeing, it looks very similar to what we saw back here. So even if there are blips along the way, which certainly there can be, there can be a lot of volatility. And if we're really in another accumulation zone, we look at the volatility we had here, even the volatility we've already had here in this uh, accumulation range, we can see a lot of that continue. It's probably not gonna be up only. But what this is saying is that the overall base case makes sense to be bullish. It makes sense to be thinking that the more dominant direction is going to be up for H bar versus down, which is very much the opposite of what we're seeing down here, where, where it was down was the dominant direction. So I think this is a positive sign. And again, it doesn't mean we can't have hiccups and roadblocks and bumps along the way, but overall the general direction is more likely to be up than down from the model's perspective. So obviously not financial advice. You should be making your own opinions about this data and where you think HMR might be going. But this is certainly exciting. I think we've been in this place with crypto for so long that a lot of us have PTSD, this kind of feeling that how can price ever go up in a sustainable way again? And really with HBAR, there's some initial excitement this year, but then a lot of people have been kind of disappointed that it hasn't done better, and especially in this rally that it was lagging behind to some degree. But the suggests is that maybe we just need to be patient. Not everything moves at once. Some things move earlier than others, but that the overall direction with HBAR still remains up going forward in the medium to long term. And one of the things I wanted to note about this behavior, this lagging behavior we saw with HBAR is that I think a lot of people look at that as being a bad thing, but actually this is just an opportunity. I wanna talk about that a little bit more. So in market rallies in crypto, what you'll notice over and over and over again is that certain assets will move earlier, some assets will move later. So to give an example here with this rally, the blue line here is chain link, this is the link price, and then orange is the HBAR price. Link was one of the first movers, was one of the early movers in this rally. Something interesting happened here. You'll notice how Chainlink has been kind of consolidating, just going more or less sideways through here, but then HBAR broke off to the upside. And this is something that we've talked a lot about on this channel, but I think it bears repeating here, that in these cycles, a lot of extra profits can be earned by riding up early positions that move up quickly, and then with Chainlink, for example, our short-term UDPI risk model is saying it's getting quite overheated at this point and that it would likely need to consolidate exactly that happened. If you've been pulling profits off of Link, moving them into HBAR right here, then you'd be enjoying an additional roughly, let's see, from the if you put it all the way in the bottom, an additional 43% additional returns. Or if we're just kind of looking more in the middle of this range here, about a 35% additional returns, which you wouldn't have gotten just staying only in link and so that's where there could be a lot of opportunities and so obviously if you're only playing hbar it doesn't really matter but if you're moving in and out a lot of these opportunities can come and hbar really presented a nice opportunity here to move profits off then ride them up higher so i just wanted to mention that because i think it'd be easy to get kind of myopic in the crypto space and only focus on one asset but if you're not just only invested in one asset then these opportunities can arise where you might say oh man why is hbar lagging right now Maybe the other way to think about it is, oh, maybe HTRP just hasn't put in its full move yet. So maybe I take money out of something that does seem to have put in a lot of its move, or at least the majority of its move, put it into this other one that seems like it has more room to run, and then enjoy that upside. So again, not financial advice. You should be navigating the market as you see best fit. But I did just want to mention that because I think it can help reframe some of these dynamics that even if something seems to be lagging, that might actually just be a big opportunity to compound profits that may have come from elsewhere. All right, so if you like the content, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and follow us on X. A lot of updates about our models and more over there. And go to our website, PlarityDigital.io, to view live data from our models and more.